Want some real breaking news? The Great Awakening continues and shall not stop because it cannot be stopped. What I'm referring to is the exit from bondage that we have energetically consented to, leading us to the entrance back into the eternal, back into the original reality. This is a false reality we are in. Mm -hmm. Breaking news. It is all quite fake, fake news everywhere. Disinformation, left and right. No matter where you look, it's disinformation. And this Great Awakening only has to do with the intangible when it comes down to it. And the intangible can't be thwarted by a government, can't be smited by a next-door neighbor who doesn't like us. The Great Awakening, what we also call Ascension, signifies that we've been in a sort of slumber, that we have not been seeing clearly. Sometimes beings wish to put a mystical spin on this awakening, but there isn't anything mystical about it, ultimately. Mysticism implies something that is, like, distant from our ability to grasp it, unless we engage in some sort of magical practice. You know what isn't limited by bondage? Sophia. The Holy Spirit, some call this force, has actually been orchestrating this entire show so we can experience enough pressure to rattle the cages of our slumber and thus break free and go home. The so-called darkness on this earth stage has been the catalyst for all of our awakenings, has it not? Why is this? Because the so-called darkness doesn't actually exist. It is a cartoonish manifestation of our own slumber that needed to show up in this world so we could, like I said, be rattled and say, oh, what's that? So this is such a glorious truth. And that's the breaking news. I laugh when anybody is approaching me with this worried, heavy way of interacting because they're fooled by some 3D events. I laugh. What are you talking about? What? What? The government? Huh? What? The, this person you're so scared of? That's fake news. Okay? Okay. Our Christ consciousness gets reborn through cycling in and out of quantum possibilities that this supercomputer we've called Earth allows us to experiment with. Therefore, the Akashic records get stored with the perils and pleasures of such a reality leading to our inevitable ascension day being written in the book of life. This is Christ consciousness being reborn.
the true second coming. Dualism itself overlays on top of the earth until we observe what we see now, a place full of wonder, distractions, diversions, paths, and mind traps. But at the end of the day, it's as illusory as Wonderland was in the story of Alice. Let me ask you, is death something to fear? Death is nothing more or less than change and rebirth. You die many times a day to make way for the new and authentic. Within the cycle of reincarnation, we had to die, to roll the die once again, over and over until we reach the grand exit portal. A shadow meets its end sooner or later, because one that can only extract is one who truly doesn't exist. We are in the unveiling now, and have been. To see clearly is to break free from reincarnation and the bondage it brings. But in order to break free, we had to experience the bondage to remember the values of authenticity. It's destined to occur that this current existence erupts into a golden age and merges back with the long lost unity that upholds truth. The crystal of truth lies within, and activated, pulls us closer and closer, true north. Keep up the great work.